Hi, this is Nash Chanma and in this session we will discuss how to create the Canva app from the scratch in Microsoft Power App. Now we check how to design the Canva app from the scratch. So for this purpose we have the blank app at the app templates in case of the app blank. So we have to design everything from the scratch but if we need some predefined or inbuilt template then we can choose this app templates. In blank app we have the font layout and the tablet layout. So we take the tablet layout. Now this is ready now. So by default we have only one screen and the name is the screen one. First of all we change the name of this one. Rename say home screen. Now we need more screen. Suppose our requirement is we have to have the multiple screen so we can add the more screen from new screen blank then say again edit screen now we add one more and rename Detail screen. So now we have the three screen: the home screen, detail screen, and the edit screen. So by default, the background color of all these screens are the white. Suppose if I change the color of the home screen and it's say white, so I can use the RGBA, but also I can use the static value, say white green. Now the background of the home screen is the green. If I check the other screen, edit screen, detail screen, still the background of these screen are the white. But I want the uniformity in the background color of, of all screen. My requirement is the background of all screen must be the same. So the background color of the home screen is green. Now edit skin. I can fill this skin with any color but I want the same color and also I need if I change the background color of the home skin then also background color of the other skin must change. So edit skin and fill is the white. In this formula I can take the reference of the home screen property fill. If I type here home screen and dot fill so you can see the background color of this screen is the same. Detail screen I do the same thing home screen and dot fill. Now the background of all these skin is the same. If I change the color background color of the this home screen, say I make it blue and also check the background color of other skin. The background color of other skin also change because other skins are taking the reference from your home screen for the background color. Now we design the title of each and every screen. First of all, home screen. Insert, then label. And label, home, font size say 24, then bold and color white. Then align center. We change the text. Text property. Home screen. Now we can copy edit screen and paste here. 
okay so again rename i'll be edit title 2 then detail screen paste change name rename i'll be title now we have the titles on the all all screen rename it lb title we change the text edit screen then detail screen now i want the uniformity in details like we did in the screen so if i change the so background color of this title so the background color of all other titles should change so first of all i change the background color say fill orange and color black now on the second screen we take the reference of the property on the second screen we take the reference of the property of the home screen for this title so fill property and then lb title dot fill and same thing we do for the third screen fill again lb title dot fill now we can check the title for all skin so all are the same only the color is white okay so we also change the color then lb title dot color same for the third screen detail screen color then lb title dot color so now we can check Suppose I change the position of the title on the home screen like this. Way. If I check the title on the other screen, so there is no change on the position of the title of the other screen. So we do the same thing, we take the reference of the property of the X and Y of the home screen title and first then x lb title dot x also y lb title dot y so do the same thing for third screen x lb title dot x 
and y lb title dot y now the position of the title is same on all the screen if i change the position of the title on the home screen then we can see now we check how to reject the data entry screen so first of all insert then label in label we change say employee id and configuration of this one font size say 18 bold then color white okay now one more level one more level and one more level so now we have the four levels say second level first name third level last name and then address now i want the uniformity regarding the configuration or look and feel or appearance of these button in these labels for this screen so i can refer the property of the emp id so select all three labels then first of all color first of all i must change the name of the this employee id for better readability lb emp id okay now i select all three say color and the reference from the lb emp dot color so all are the white now i reposition i want the rest of the labels on the same position as employee id so it is already selected now i change the x lb emp dot x so all labels are on the same position from the left sides okay now the size again select all lb dot size so you can see then board now all labels are with the same configuration white color bold and the font size all are the same now i drag and drop input box insert text text input employee id second one say first name then for the last name and finally for the address then we take button we change say 
submit data. Okay, so for this button, we have to write the code. So this submit button, we can use this submit button for validation of the data and saving the data in the database. Okay, so we will check this functionality in the forthcoming video. Now, we add now we add one more button for the navigation. So we have the detail screen and the edit screen. In this button, suppose go to detail screen and on select this is the event it should by default of false it means by default it does nothing now we have to navigate so navigate detail screen comma screen transition dot cover that is the animation when the like screen switch from one to another okay preview if i check so these are the forms and go to detail screen but on the detail screen we have no provision to get back to the previous screen so on detail screen button go to home screen now all select by default false change it navigate home screen and cover this is the animation now preview go to home screen go to detail screen So this is how you can design the canvas app from the scratch and you can also use the how to navigate from one skin to another skin. So guys this was all about the how to design the canvas app from the scratch and how to navigate the screen from one skin to another screen. Thanks for watching the video.